Of course. Of course. From her. Yeah. Right. He was demented. Oh, they, oh, they, oh, they, oh, he was so oh, demented oh, that his sister lived with him. No, but they, she moved out. Knew, knew my mother so did she Somebody told her. Somebody told her. So they could get this one. I understand what you're talking about. That girl with the blind. But everybody. Is this? No, I'm saying the guy. He was just, you know, he was so anti. I'm talking about the one who Is it safe to say? Oh, his sister. She was a little tall. Is it safe to say he's someone who suffered from mental illness? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. And he would bang on the ceiling saying the cats were making too much noise. And that was last night. Really? Yeah. We were sitting in my living room and he asked me, what's that noise? I saw it, that stupid guy next door banging on the ceiling. Because he had a habit of that. She was telling me that. Was it a woman and a, uh, some it was tenants? An elderly was... couple. Smitty was about in his 70s, and his wife was in her 60s. They've been together about 30, 35 years. And as far as I know, she has the children. I don't know if Smitty had children or not. You live in the building too? I live right across the hall. And, uh, where were you on all this? That Coming was... home. I'm glad that you weren't there. <laughs> Coming home, missed the bus. Yep. Uh, did uh, the fire. They said the apartment was set on fire. I don't know. I, they won't let me in the building. But you'll get in there eventually and see how. Yeah, tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I, I can't do it. You're saying that the man always, it was always arguing. I don't know. I don't understand. He's a good guy. He's an old man. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's shocking. It's a shocking. Yes, it's sad. It's a sad situation. So, Pam. Bothering him, had been ringing his doorbell repeatedly, had been knocking on his door, and had been uh, saying to him to come out and fight. And uh, he did not want to do that. That all came to a head today, uh, culminating in the shooting of uh, that man, his wife, and then the man turning the gun on himself. Let's uh, go ahead and show you the video we shot uh, from uh, earlier today. This all started around uh, 2.52. Good evening. I'm Deputy Chief Martin Matarasso, Commanding Officer of Detective Bar Manhattan North. Joined with me here today is Deputy Inspector Vincent Greeny, Commanding Officer of the 32nd Precinct, Inspector Peter Fiorello, Manhattan North Detectives, and FDNY Chiefs Cartwright and Sullivan. The information I'm going to provide you is preliminary, as the investigation is in its early stages and is ongoing. At this moment, I can tell you that there are three individuals deceased from a gunshot wound to the head, stemming from an earlier dispute inside of 26 West 131 Street, and there are no outstanding subjects. This afternoon at 2.43 p.m., uniform officers from the 32nd Precinct responded to shots being fired inside of 26 West 131 Street. The responding officers made entry to the location and discovered a 78-year-old male lying on the first floor hallway with a gunshot wound to the head. The officers then heard an unknown male yelling from inside the apartment, 1A, come and get it. 
while barricading him inside the apartment. The officers immediately secured the location and requested emergency service units to respond. While securing the location, the officers noticed smoke coming from inside the apartment. Moments later, emergency service officers gained entry into the apartment and discovered a 59-year-old male inside of the bathroom with what appears to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. FDNY personnel also responded to the location and extinguished the fire. Upon search of the building for additional victims, members from FDNY discovered a 62-year-old female on the second floor hallway with a gunshot wound to the head. At this time, our preliminary investigation reveals that the 59-year-old subject was involved in a dispute with the 78-year-old male victim before shooting him in the head. After shooting the first victim, the suspect then went to the second floor and shot the 62-year-old female victim before barricading himself inside the apartment and shooting himself. Additionally, we have recovered two firearms from inside the subject's apartment. Like I said earlier, this investigation is still ongoing in its early stages, and I will take a couple of questions. Officer, do we know if the fire and then the gunshot, the gunshot fire kind of like completed the response? Well, it did make it chaotic, to say the least. The 62-year-old female was uh, in a relationship to the two men. To the two men? Um, neighbors to the suspect and lived with the other victim. The, um, the 78, which one is it? 78 or the 59-year-old? The 59-year-old is our perpetrator. Were the 62-year-old and 78-year-old married? Unknown at this time. What the dispute was about? It's unknown at this time. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you, guys.